being in nature naturally makes you feel better. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with the 49th episode of some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories. This is Good News Next Week for the week of May 1st, 2017, and we are coming to you from the budding apartment balcony garden and hope that you are budding good things in your world wherever you are and you can submit stories to Good News Next Week using hashtag Good News Next Week. We'll begin with some tweets from our buddy James Corbett and Apollo Slater who have noted that MIT are fretting that one in three babies being born now aren't officially being recognized. So that's a fantastic start. Let's continue to not have people on the grid as the little slave tax market. So one in three is a good start. We'll call that a good start. You know who else is on a good start and on a damn good roll is my home state of West Virginia. We've been talking about West Virginia weed for the win, and they continue to push that. We'll get to that in just a second, but West Virginia also ended their state-run Obamacare exchange. And on the note of more like hemp, West Virginia legalizes commercial hemp farming despite federal prohibition. They've changed some of the language in the law that essentially makes it to where anybody with a license can grow it and hopefully that's just going to start more and more and more and it's going to be toothpaste out of the tube from west virginia to switzerland vote launch to legalize cannabis in switzerland some of the other good news we're looking at and again these are submitted by you and a huge thanks to our friends like at miles of truth who notes that travel show host rick steves invests his retirement savings into housing for the homeless and doesn't use banks and he actually gets a lot more equity and a lot more money out of it for himself and he does a lot more good for other people. We learned about that from a different show host, Jimmy Dore, who does a fantastic show. And it wouldn't be a Good News Next Week episode without cats and yes, Frankie's running around in the background here somewhere. We'll see if we can get her in the shot on this episode 49 of Good News Next, Good News Next Week. 76-year-old man raises more than $28,000 to feed stray cats, and he did it online, just like we're doing it online. The very hungry, plastic-eating caterpillar, a waxworm, is a possible way that we're going to eat up some of those plastic islands at sea and some of the other pollution clogging up our world. Researchers produce high-quality ink, from air pollution. I'm not exactly sure how that one works out. And like all the things, if you want to learn more about these, go hit up the show notes. We have all the links. We have all the sources. And that one's thanks to our buddy Eric Moshe. And you got to see a picture of this thing from Baltimore. But it's a good thing. The self-driving recycling machine has pulled a million pounds of trash from the Baltimore Harbor. Now, I've spent a little bit of time in Baltimore. There's a bit of trash in Baltimore. <laughs> and this thing just driving around picking up garbage on its own, and we've reported on other things similar to that in the archives of Good News next week. Our last notes take us to nature and bring us back here to the Pacific Northwest, where there's one article at a medical daily that notes the benefits of getting naked in public. And it basically gives you a better body image. It gives you more well-being of yourself. And some of the events they note in the popularity of getting naked in public, the World Naked Bike Ride. It's a huge thing here in Portland, an annual tradition, and a lot of people that get involved in that. So I find it interesting that the World Naked Bike Ride, which just happens in lots of places, but one of the bigger happens right here in Portland, Oregon, as our next to last story on this good news next week, as our final story is our cover story this week. Being in nature naturally makes you feel better about yourself. Interestingly enough, this research coming out of the University of Oregon. Engagement with natural environment, a significant contributor to life satisfaction. It's pretty simple, and we've covered a number of studies that talk about this, and I think it's a good way to show it again, and we can show you the research, and you can get the research for yourself, or you could just turn off your device and go outside and get your feet in the dirt and get your feet in the mud. Frank likes to run around in the mud. And so there she is for this episode 49 of Good News Next Week. Hope you're doing well, and if you've got some solutions-oriented stories going on in your neck of the woods, we'd love to hear about them. You can use the tweets, hashtag Good News Next Week, or if you don't do any of that garbage, you can always just email me, james at mediamonarchy.com. We'd love to hear from you. That's episode 49 of some of the ways that we are winning Good News Next Week for the week of May 1st, 
2017. And I am James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.